Chelsea Kenna is arguably the best software engineer in West Africa. Every other information you need is in your mail. Make it professional. anything boys what were you thinking you bring the boys in here 
They wanted to see their father on Father's Day. I told you, Seth, I don't like distraction for them working. Ah. Take the boys out of here and take the cake with you. Ah. Are you listening to yourself right now? But boys, um, let's go. Your, your dad is right this Why is that? Why don't you like the cake? Nothing, boy. That is, um, that is needs to work, okay?
I need you and Mike at mine right now. Come to my house right now, okay? And listen, you both will be walking from here moving forward, okay? You'll be walking from my house every morning. You'll be reporting here. Can you hear me? Okay, I'll see you soon. we have on the new software. Okay, so, so you mean the red? Yes, the red. Okay. Uh, Mike, so you make sure uh, we have the user identification and the thumbprint recognition models ready before the end of the day, okay? I have a lot of work to do on the missile tracking accuracy. All right, guys, so let's, let's get to work. I don't know, I just brought you food. Food? Mm -hmm. In here? Where would you do that? Just take that food away, I'm not hungry. And when did my office become a dining room? Because the last few times I invited you to the dining table, you didn't come and my hard work wasted. Alex, please take that food away. I'm not hungry. What? <laughs> You're not going to try that. I will scatter everything in this room if you do not eat this food. Look at you. You sleep here, wake here, hardly eat, and even take your bath is a difficult thing for you to do. Charles, I feel like I'm losing you. 
Look, it's either you, you eat your food or no work. See her yesterday, but I didn't even get to the hospital. Why? It's a car bad. Mm -mm. <laughs> I misplaced the key. And then, after looking for it for hours, I found it in the tiny pocket of my handbag. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just, it's just really. And are you okay? That's it. That's what? Right there, that's what I've been looking for. The key was there all along. Right inside the nested pocket of your handbag. Huh? I have to nest the programs and make sure every single event is a command that triggers a user identification. That's what I was supposed to do the whole time. I got it. Yes. Honey, you've not finished eating your food. you don't want me to do anything for you. Most times you're out early without eating breakfast and you come back so late when I and the kids must have gone to bed. Or you're locking yourself up in that room with your computers. What is going on? What is going on is that I work too hard to take care of this family and put food on the table. Well, don't tell me about putting food on the table because we have enough food to last us a lifetime. What we don't have is joy in this marriage. Maybe you have it but I don't. You spend so much time with your computers, more time than you spend with your family. Then you are off to work or you are traveling. Oh, so you don't want to hear about putting food on the table, right? <laughs> Who takes care of you? Me. Who takes care of this family? Me. Who takes care of our parents? Me. I mean, who takes care of your no good brother and sister? The same me. Charles. You're speaking about my family like that? Oh, it's your family now, right? <laughs> Yesterday, 85k left our joint account. What did you use it for? Tell me because I don't see anything new around this house. My mother needed urgent medical attention at the hospital. And you couldn't tell me? Because you have warned me several times not to disturb you at office hours. And when you go back home, you might straight to the bedroom and say, no one should disturb you. And what? instead of you to tell me that at the first thing this morning, you're here nagging the hell out of me, Charles, why? I'm tired of fighting and arguing all the time. Wait! Wait! I'm tired myself of this thinking she called marriage. The moment I get back from Abuja, I'm calling for I'm getting, I'm getting a divorce. Charles. Charles! You are divorcing me. You want to divorce me? You know what? I am leaving you. I'm tired of begging you to love me. And I'm going to drag your ass to court and ask for full custody of my children. Stop! Speak! 
listening to me? You are divorcing me? You will never find a wife like me. Never. Well, that's the point. I do not need a wife like you. Jesus. Charles, you are evil. I mean, what am I supposed to do? What? He already said he wants a divorce. I don't know, Brenda. I'm just helpless. Sweetheart, you're not supposed to cry about this. It's obvious that he doesn't want the marriage anymore, so why don't you step out of this for a while? I can't. Can't you see? I can't. Who will take care of my kids? There is always a way. Okay? And, babe, your happiness comes first, though. And besides, you're so young and beautiful. I am, I am very sure that there are quite a few men, if not a lot, who would like to have a taste of you. <laughs> not to <you. laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. I have stuff to do anyway. Um, I need to take care of some stuff at the office. Go, get off my phone, Jerry. <laughs> What's the problem? Look at your watch. Do you know how long you've kept me waiting? Alex and I had an argument. <laughs> a wife. Well, now my ex-wife. Maybe I told you, I... I'll never let anything, I'll burn anything that comes between us. And when we leave here, I want you to move in with me. What? <sighs> Be real. I can't move in with you right now. I mean, what would people say? And despite everything, Alex is my friend. Babe, let them talk. Let them talk. Remember, if nobody talks about you, then you're nobody. Really? Really. Two-Face? Nope. My face. <laughs> Stop talking. Hello. Good evening. I am Father Paul. With me are my colleagues, Brother Bernard and Reverend Sister Bosola. Madam, we were traveling when our car broke down close to your house. We have traveled for hours and our phones are dead. We really do need drinking water right now. I beg of you, please. Oh, oh that, that, that shouldn't be a problem. That really shouldn't. You know what? Why don't you come in? Of course it's not a problem. Come in. You're welcome. Oh, sure. As a friend, if you are deaf or blind, as a friend, I'll be one step behind. As a friend, you always are.
Alright, please come in. Wow. You have yourself a beautiful formula. Thank you very much. Good evening, sir. Good evening, evening children. Ma. How are you? <laughs> Um, what can I get you to drink? Uh, water will just do. Okay, and you? Yes, water. Just water? Yeah. Right. I'll be back. Hey boy, you sure need some help, don't you? Come over here, let me teach you. Oh. Yeah, that's my boy. Now, this is the keyboard. Hey, put it here, you enjoy it. Come on. Do you like it? Wow. I hope these kids are not troubling you. Of course not. Some Are you sure? You're blessed with beautiful, wonderful children there. Yeah. Oh, okay, here you go. <laughs> here you go, ma'am. Oh, thank you, Mrs. <laughs> Alex, my name is Alex. Yes, Alex. You're welcome. Oh, your husband. Yes. Where is he? We should at least say hello. Um. Not to worry, he traveled this morning. Oh dear. Anyway, Mrs. Alice, thank you very much. Um, we should, I think we should take our leave now. Wow. Really? But I thought you said um, your phones needed charging. Oh. Why not at least just charge it a bit then? Then you can be on your way. Oh, it's not a problem. I think we should be on the way, ma'am. Please don't go. Please, um, please stay. Um, of course, no problems. Um, let us stay a little, a little longer, yeah. All right, but your phones, I, I insist. Charge your phones. Let, let, let me have it. Listen, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Very you're thank welcome. You. Of course. Please stay. Yes. Thank you very much. Right. What about the child? Oh, yes, I said it can. Oh, okay. All right, so I'll just take you to the kitchen if you don't mind. I will help you. No, 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 it's don't fine. Worry, I'll help you, I'll help you. Don't worry, I'll help you. Don't worry, I'll help you. Okay, then. <laughs> Thank you. All right, please. So, boy. Yes. Um. No, you press it. Press it. Place your other. Um. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, let me, let me help you. Okay. Chima, 
Namdi, it's time for you to go to bed. Tomorrow is Saturday. We are not going to school. <laughs> school or no school? There's no reason why you should be awake at this hour. Come on, Mrs. Alex. Let's enjoy the company a little bit more before they go to sleep. And by the way, you must be a lifesaver. Not everyone will allow three strangers into their home at night. True. But I mean, you looked harmless. I, I thought you were harmless. It's, it's not a problem, really. Really? Yes, it's not. It's okay. Right. Sorry, excuse me. I think I left my phone in the kitchen. Just, I'll be right back. Okay. children. Please. Please, 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 please. Alex, your husband Charles was secretly contracted by the federal government to develop a software for the military. And they call it RED. Your husband has been working on this project for so long. But on the other hand, I was paid double to ensure he doesn't deliver it. He's, he's, he's not here. He has traveled. He went to Abuja this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying, Drew. You can check the house. I'm, I'm, uh, you can check. <laughs> Open your eyes. Take this. Please, I don't want to. Take it! Sorry. Watch. <laughs> That video is streaming live from your husband's hotel, as we speak. Brenda, 
you're so naive. Your husband is not in Abuja. He's in one of the five-star hotels on the island. Having a swell time lounging with your best friend, Brenda. <laughs> Listen up, Alex. Your husband hates you. Your husband doesn't love you. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about the kids either. So you don't have to tell us everything that you know. <laughs> what else? I will kill every moving thing here. And I will make sure I do it slowly.
Um, we need his passport. Get out of here. If it tries to be funny. Please, please, don't come back to me. Let me take him myself. Let him be! Okay, okay, okay. But please, don't hurt him. Please, I beg you. Please, don't hurt him. It's just like we have to call him again. What for? You should know at this point what to do. We have to call him to find out the fire location of the source code. Anything, I need to speak to my family first. You don't make demands here, Mr. Charles. If you touch my children, I swear I'll kill you. Put Brenda online. Brenda, when this is over, shoot that bastard in the eye. You got me. Yeah, I got you. Oh, please, please. Shut up, I'll show you how. Now, Mr. Charles, what is the location of the source code? Go, go, go to a file. The, the, the D drive, you, you'll, see, you'll see a file named Kill 2.0. Put an eye on them. I need to know what's happening. Okay. And you had better figure out that day.
Oh, wow. Sorry, I forgot your thingy. You smoke, Brenda. No, Mr. Charles Ikenna, I don't. <laughs> Do you cheat on your wife? I guess the answer is no. Friend, I never could have imagined that you're capable of doing anything like this to me. After all I've done for you, Brenda. If you move one more muscle, I swear I will put a bullet in your skull. If you want to shoot me now, Brenda. Ed, shoot me. How much did they pay you to betray me? How much? The red is supposed to be a secret project for the government. If they tamper with that, the life of my family and I will be in danger. Well, that's your business, Charles. What I am right now is what you have made of me. So it was all a lie all along. Everything you said to me was a lie. When we kissed, all the times we made love, all the memories we shared, Brenda, was a lie. Stop it. I left my wife for you, Brenda. What else? Stop am I supposed it. To do? Just stop it. Okay? You didn't <laughs> You didn't do any of these things because you <laughs> You didn't do any of these things for me. You never loved me. No. If you did, you wouldn't have married Alex. You met me first. And I was there for you. I mean, right off, from the very beginning when we worked together in the same company. Right up until the time when you, you got that first programming contract. That contract with Spec. That was your first contract and, and that was the contract that made you. Do you have any idea how that... Do you have any idea how that contract was signed? Sit down. I don't know why you insist on leaving this early. I don't know why you insist. Come on. Baby, I have to go to work now. And I'm running late. I have a boss that I answer to, you know. That's the point. That's the point. I've told you severally to come work for me. Come on, baby, come and work for me. You know, pay you much more for doing next to nothing. As long as uh, we continue, uh, you know. <laughs> I just say you don't. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you, uh, I know, but you know I can't work for you now. Uh, it's only been a matter of time before people start talking. Uh, you know this now. Is that the only reason? Is that the only reason? Well, anyway. I've um, I've looked at this file you want me to look at, mm. and uh, what what's the name of the company again? C Soft. Yeah, 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 yeah. C Soft, yes. uh, C Soft Incorporated. Okay, okay. Um, well, I have my doubts about this company if you ask me, but uh, I trust your judgment. Okay. Trust your judgment. Um, so for me, I think it would be. To be a yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. Oh. Baby, you know I can do anything for you. <laughs> you know I can do anything. <laughs> so yeah, are you amazing. are you coming to see me this night? I did that for you. And what did I get in return? Hmm? Charles. My best 
friend, Alex, gets to walk down the aisle and be your pretty little charming wife and me, what am I? Your sex object. Just leave Alex out of this. She didn't know anything about us. She didn't know we were involved at the time. Oh, you're defending her now. Of course, I knew you would. place that she met you was at my house, right? Hmm? For some reason you are... This has been a long time coming. For some reason, you asked me to keep our relationship secret and... And like the idiot that I was, I trusted you. I did everything that you asked. I don't know why. And then what did you do? You turned around and you get my best friend pregnant. Alex and I were drunk that night. Oh my God! Exact same song that you've been singing for years. I should put a bullet in your head right now. family tonight after they get the when they get the source code and and I will end your miserable and deceitful life right here right now that is exactly how it's going to play out Charles don't move Brenda it's not too late you can drop that gun right now it's too late it's and too walk this out late. and it's move too late on. please I beg you Charles I swear to God I will shoot you what's keeping you and where's the boy? I can find him. Of course you can't. Now go find him. And when you see him, shoot him in the boat. And if you can't find him, shoot yourself in the head. Brenda, you don't need to, you, you don't need to do this to yourself. Stop! Brenda, please. Brenda! Thank you. 
figure these arguments. Find the files again. What do you mean by you can't find the files? I it was it was just here. I, I saw it myself. Then what the hell happened to it? Someone logged in there from a remote location. And you've been here sitting, you couldn't even stop it! I did not know. Bra 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 shit! You want good for nothing, ugly good bitch! You claim to be a computer programmer, but you don't know shit. Now tell me, Sophia. Are you bent on deceiving me why you keep the source code for yourself? If you ever call me names again, if you think it's easy, you better come and handle this computer right now. So what are you going to do about that bitch? Hmm? What are you going to do about that? One more word from you, you are dead. It's okay. Just wait here for me. I want to go love your brother. Don't come out, okay? Don't be afraid, okay? Alright, don't come out until I come to get you. Okay, I love you.
Hello?
friends. Answer me! I'm looking for my child. the divorce right well you have it now Alex really is that why I was never enough for you Alex, is that why is that what you're now if we five minute drive to Lagos I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm leaving your god forsaken us and taking my kids with me you can't do that it's not safe out there Alex where is this man in here you put my son's lives in danger I pro I pro I'll make it up to you, Alex. Alex, I'm sorry. Ale Thanks. Nice. 